amigos y familia. Hey, it's been a long time since our last video, but a lot's happened, and there's been a lot to process, and we have mucho work to do yet. Who would have thought that moving to Mexico, well, we would have been doing it this quickly, but we are. We're progressing nicely. We had our three-day estate sale in August that you guys heard about probably more times than you didn't than you wanted to but it went really well and I want to give a big thank you and, and uh, muchas gracias to Chris, Robbie, Doug and Sandy, Wes and Kathy, John Zor and our cameraman Corey Zor for making it a big success. We're going to have another three-day estate sale and that's going to take place October 4th, 5th, and 6th. And that's going to be on estatesales.net as well. So look it up, just like the other one. We just finished with a two-day garage sale. Corey, George, and I, we all, um, last weekend, we had a great garage sale. Sold a lot of household items and sporting goods. So that's the update on the work around here. So next drum roll please many of you have been waiting to hear about our recent 12-day fact-finding trip to ahahik and lakeside before getting into some detail let's suffice it to say that all aspects of the trip exceeded our expectations that's right we were able to spend two full days before the start of the six-day seminar and three full days after that gave us a better chance to see the various areas and get an idea of where we might want to live Mexico's charm and culture hit us as soon as we walked through the gates of Hacienda Hidalgo, the B&B where we stayed. Its courtyard was very inviting with a beautiful hand-painted mural by the noted Mexican muralist Efra Gonzalez. It's hard to beat kicking back with a cold beer, enjoying the mural, and listening to the soothing sound of the courtyard's fountain. Right next to the courtyard is an authentic Mexican encina where Mary Martin, the owner, installed an honor bar that allowed Mary and I to have cold drinks, cervezas, wine, or tequila anytime we wanted. We were also able to enjoy wonderful views of the lush green Sierra Madre Mountains and even a peekaboo view of the lake from the Hacienda's third story Mirador. That's right. Like George said, it was we were in a hacienda and we stayed up in the second story casita and it was very authentic. There were hand-painted tiles in the bathroom area and shower stall. Um, we had a lot of privacy. It was just a really nice, authentic experience. And to top it off, our host served us uh, rich Mexican coffee, homemade uh, Mexican pastries, and fresh fruit daily. So who could ask for anything more than that? Yeah, it was you, a great experience. Yeah, that's we, right. We, we would go back and stay there again. Right, Ahiak uh, is the beautiful, uh, small lakeside Mexican village complete with narrow cobblestone streets, a wonderful plaza where something's going on all the time, great restaurants and street food, and warm and happy people. It even has its own malacón, which is like a concrete boardwalk running along the lake's edge, and it's really cool to see multi-generation and Mexican families enjoying their Saturdays and Sundays, picnicking or just playing games along the Malacón. Ahahik is a food lover's paradise where one can find street That's food true. for two for around $3, clear on up to a gourmet meal where drinks, appetizers, and entrees may run you around 40 bucks, which in my case even included a prime 17 and a half ounce ribeye steak. Now about the six-day seminar that we attended. As most of you know, we went to a six-day seminar sponsored by Focus on Mexico. They've been holding these events for about 20 years. It exceeded our expectations. It was comprehensive, intensive. Um, it answered all of our questions and concerns, so we really feel confident moving forward. We were in attendance with about 30 other people from most of them from the United States, a few from Canada. All in all, it uh, was everything that we had expected and then some. So we're looking forward to our next step 
in um, relocating to Lake Chapala area. We were able to see some of the areas surrounding Ahihik. George described Ahihik pretty well, but to the west are towns of San Juan Kosala and um, Hokotepec, and to the east would be towns of San Antonio, Talaikapan, and Chapala. And we need to explore those areas a little more thoroughly, but um, suffice it to say that Lake Chapala is going to be our new retirement home. That's right. You know, what more can really one ask for than the gentle breezes coming off the lake, the warm and happy people, and the tranquil way of life in spite of the noises and sounds of everyday living such as street entertainers, horses traveling along the cobblestone streets, music coming from bands and funeral processions, live music emanating from restaurants, and the occasional local vendor shouting, Tamales! Tamales! Elote! Elote! Needless to say, we're really looking forward to beginning our new adventure and moving to Lakeside. The good life awaits us. Adios, familia and amigos! Hasta luego! From Let's Retire to Mexico! <laughs>